William Wilberforce was born August 24th, 1759, in Kingston-upon-Hull, England. Wilberforce's family was quite wealthy, and as a young man, Wilberforce lived a carefree life full of drinking and gambling. Seeking distinction, he sought and won political office as a member of the British Parliament at the age of 21. In 1785, he read Philip Doddridge's Rise and Progress of Religion in the Soul. The book had a profound impact on Wilberforce's life. He embraced evangelical Christianity, lost interest in card games and drinking, began to get up early to read the Bible, and decided to commit his future life to work in the service of God and social reform. Guided by Christian ethics, Wilberforce began to play an active role in the abolitionist movement in 1786. In 1787, he wrote in his diary that God had set before him the objective of suppressing the slave trade. A group of evangelical abolitionists known as the Clapham Sect soon acknowledged Wilberforce as their leader. Throughout the 1790s and early 1800s, he introduced countless anti-slavery bills in the British House of Commons. Though supported by the Prime Minister William Pitt and philosopher Edmund Burke, Wilberforce's measures failed. Ever resilient, Wilberforce strategically pushed a bill to end the slave trade with French colonies. The bill passed and paved the way for the complete abolition of the slave trade in 1807. As he grew older and despite his failing health, Wilberforce continued to campaign for the rights of slaves. He died on July 29, 1833, three days after the Slavery Abolition Act was passed by the British House of Commons. William Wilberforce played a central role in the struggle against slavery, ultimately alleviating the suffering and affirming the dignity of millions of former slaves. For that reason, William Wilberforce is undeniably a hero of progress.